Greetings, Hawklings, Cyber Dogs, fellow fishing enthusiasts. We are back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And yes, guys, I have advanced quite a bit. I'm up to level 6 now, and I'm pushing the heck out of level 7. And thanks to my good friend Dulakaba Kashi, I have taken some of his tips on how to use the controls and what to search for. Plus found a few things of my own, just messing around a little bit. I do not have assembled rods. Well, yeah, I know that, because I used up all my bait. Anyway, <laughs> what I did was I lost one of my lures, and that's not a problem, because I'm just going to put a new one on. Unfortunately, I'm down to only one of my half-ounce red devils. But, we're going to take a chance and see what we can do, guys. But there is some techniques for if you do get snags. Now, occasionally a snag will take your lure and there's not much you can do about it. But, there's a couple of things you can do to help get the snags loose. And I will kind of, I'm sure I will get one, <laughs> show you how that happens. Now, I've got a good spot over here, basically, right over... I don't know if you can see the lily pads, but there's a spot right over here that I really like to toss it in. Now let's take some of our drag down. I always like to set the drag to what Dula says, and that's at about 2. That allows the fish to be able to pull the line out so that it doesn't break, and you can still manage to get the fish in, no matter how big it seems to be. Now, if they take off with it, that's fine. Let them wear themselves out. Alright, let's see if we can't get this cast out here. Alright. Alright, that's a pretty good distance. And I, what we're going to do is we're going to do the old lift and drop, just like has been described. And we'll see if we can't get us a big fish. Now this lake here is called Emerald Lake and it's supposed to be in New York. Now to be able to fish the really good sized fish you're gonna have to get yourself I think I got... nope I thought maybe I had one. Uh, yeah I think I did have a bite. Getting a little... ah see okay there's a snag. Now, here's what you do if you get a snag guys. Most of the time you're not gonna lose your lure if you just hit the plus and up your drag a little bit and continue trying to pull it in or reel it in do it a little bit more see tackle released after snag perfect now if you do it one at a time you're less likely to break your line at least that's what I've found I've only had a, one instance in playing for about three or four days where I actually lost my lure and that was just right before I started here and we're doing really well guys I have caught a number of fish and there are lots of the pike oh, there's another one let's try it again there we go see no biggie There are grass pickerel in here, chain pickerel, northern pike, and red fin pickerel. Quite a few species. There's also walleye. Good gosh, I really am getting to snags today. But I'm just pulling them loose. I think it's because I'm talking and not fishing. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was having a little bit of an issue with my dog wanting to go out. We will try this again and see if we can't land us a good sized fish. Oh! That is what is known as screwing that up. Alright guys, we are going to try to see if we can't get us 
decent sized fish here 199 feet pretty good not a bad cast all right once it gets to the bottom we start the lift and drop I'm gonna kinda pull it to the side this time because it seems like I keep getting snags right over there for some reason oh there we go oh shoot I had a bite but I guess he just wasn't interested enough to stay on the line. Hmm. Well, we'll keep on trying. Yep, we do have one. And he's running with it, guys. He is running with it. Now you gotta keep pulling like this because I found that if you don't keep that tension going they will get off the hook. He's not enormous. I've caught some bigger ones but in fact I just caught a trophy redfin but I don't think he's a trophy but he's gonna be yeah, he's decent. Now that my friends is a chain pickerel. Now he's a pretty fish Darn near 18 inches, about 1 in 0.3 pounds. But look, that's what's important right here, guys. 16 XP. Now that's nice. And see, I'm almost to level 7 at this point. Now there are tons of species in this particular lake. That's why I'm sure Dulakaba likes it so much. Oh, I hate when that thing does that. Sorry about that, guys. I've got a little bit of little thing down at the bottom there that says recovery manager. <laughs> I hate when it does that. It'll disappear after a while. Anyway, we're going, we are going to keep trying to see if we can't get another one. Oh, well, darn. Even with all the precautions, I still... Get snags. There we go. And we're just going to keep on going. <laughs> just unsnag it. I'm going to pull it off to the side this time. Maybe I can get keep it from doing that so much. Oh, there we go. We got us a fish now. Alright, come on, fishy. What are you? Another chain pickerel? Trophy Redfin Pickerel. Nice. Plus 30 XP, guys. Very nice. Very nice. Isn't he a pretty fish? Yeah, obviously you can tell why he's called the Redfin. <laughs> and if you notice, he kind of has little bit stripes on the side of him. Yeah, these guys are quite the little fighters. Tough little fish. Very tough little fish. Alright, pop. And we're going to keep on. Hmm. Yeah, that was a bite, guys. That was a bite. But he didn't have a good hold on it. Yeah, they're biting pretty good. It's just they're not getting a hold of it very well. Yep, I think I got a got a fish here. Yep, and he seems to be kind of decent. Hmm. Oh boy, check it out. He is taking out the line. You get a line, I'll get a pole. 
honey. You get a line, I'll get a pole, babe. Holy crap, what is this fish? Getting a little bit of a lag here. I'm going to have to check my computer when this is done. Because something else seems to be running. And he is just taking off with this thing. I might have to... Holy crap. Yeah, the last time I had one do this, I didn't keep enough tension on the line and he got loose. Okay, this is going to take a little bit. Got to let him... Okay, he's starting to tire out finally. Whew. Wasn't sure he was going to, I swear. Yeah, the other one that got loose, he swam right towards me so that all the tension in the line was gone. And he was able to get off the hook. So, the thing I really need to do is not let him myself lose that tension. Okay, I think he's getting tired finally. Lord, he was a fighter. Whew. Yeah, I will say to Dula, this is the best spoon, I swear to God, for these big guys. You are definitely right. Now, I was able to catch some on the yellow spoon and didn't do too bad, but it's still this one is the best. Trophy chain pickerel, guys. Trophy chain pickerel. 3.125 pounds, 23.791 inches, plus 74 XP. Now, that's nice. I mean, that's nice. Yeah. I think we're keeping that dude. Oh, and there I go. Level up. Mm, seven. And seven coins. So it looks like I'm going to be per doing some Parkinson. Excellent. Excellente. <laughs> All right, guys. That doesn't mean this this little event is over. Let me see here. I've got... Alright, my total weight right now... Is 10.38 pounds. So I can still get some fish in here. There's that trophy pickerel. My gosh, that was a nice fish. Nice fish. Alright, let's see... Yeah, this is definitely my spot. I have had a lot of luck with this. Peoples. Alright, let's see. We are going to try one more time here. Was that a bite? I think it was. Alright, I'm going to cast aside, see if I can avoid the snags. Lift and drop. 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 Thought I had one that time. I think I did get a, that... Oh, shoot. Still got a snag. I swear to God, I am the snag king out here. The only thing that makes it worthwhile is I am able to get it loose. So I think after I reel this in, I'm going to pause it here for just a minute. Because I have noticed that there is some lag issues and I think I know what's causing it so I'm going to try to shut some things down if I can. Yeah, I think we're not going to get anything this time. That's alright. After that last one, I am not going to complain. I'll be right back guys. 
Alright guys, I am back and I'm hoping that I have eliminated some of the problem I was having earlier. Shoot. And it seems like I have because the lag seems to have gone. I did a little bit of adjustment with the settings and that is something you might have to do. I had it at the highest settings of all and I, I just basically turned it down a notch. And it seems to be nowhere whoa not lagging near as much as it was yeah because the detail on this is just even with that turned down quite a bit it still looks really nice all right we're going to see if we can get us another yep there we go there we go see how he did that he did that little run there okay he is trying hard to get rid of that tension, and I have got to keep it on there, because I do not want to lose this fish. Don't stop it. You're not going to get away from me, you little pain in the butt. Alright, come on, come on. Yeah, he is going to break the line. I'm not worried about that. I just don't want him to get off the line. That's my big issue. He is a fighter. What is this fish? <laughs> he is really giving me a run for my money for he's not as big as that last one but he is definitely a fighter I will give him that come on little fish yep another chain pickerel I mean, he isn't huge but definitely a keeper definitely a keeper nice alright I think what we're going to do now guys is we're going to go over here to the dock just to to kind of mix things up a little bit so I'm going to go back to the map here now, I like to fish off the dock every now and then and I've got my areas that I like out here as well just like I did over there now as far as fishing must probably one of my favorite areas is right where Dula usually fishes for the walleye. Now I haven't had any luck catching walleye just yet. I've still haven't really mastered the timing for it yet I think. I think he said it was more efficient to catch him when it was raining and since it's sunny as I'll get out I'm not sure that that's gonna work for me. But there's plenty of other things to catch all right, one of which are northern pike, and I have seen a lot of northern pike when I fished in this direction, over right towards those reeds right there. And again, there is a snag in the way, so you have to be careful of that. Okay, lift and drop, lift and drop, lift and drop, there we go, didn't take long. Ooh, this is a nice fish too, nice fish. Come on fishy, god this is so much fun guys, I used to do this with my dad all the time. Now I haven't caught most of the fish that are in here. Now I, I have fish for muskie and I have fish for northern pike, but these others like the red fins and the chain pickerels, I've never seen one except <laughs> in a laboratory to be honest. <laughs> I have dissected them, but I have not actually caught one until this game. But I guess you have to go to where they are, so come on Mr. Fish. You will come this way, whether you like it or not. He is going to fight me. He's gonna I'm gonna get it. I've gotta get away, and it's gonna happen. All right. Oh, I'm starting to get tired. I forget this is a New York fish, eh? They, you gotta get away from you. Forget about it. Come on, fish. 
Let's see what you are. Another chain pickerel. I have been catching the heck out of these guys. Not too bad, not too shabby. And we'll keep him. And let's see, let me try out there again, because I know there's a northern pike out there somewhere. Boom. And let's try it again. Uh, I had a bite, but I thought I had it one that quick. But he got off the line. Oh well. And we'll keep trying. Now and I think I have one and I really don't. Yeah, and don't think just because you're close to the dock that it's it's over, because I have pulled more than one right off the dock, just as I was reeling it in thinking I was done with that particular cast. Now there's a couple of good places over here. I've caught quite a few smaller fish, but I'm not going to do it with this thing. I've got to get a little bit smaller one. I think what we'll go is a we'll go with the slop spoon this time. See if we can't get us a smaller fish. Now, let's see what was I get? Oh yeah. I was doing well if I cast it either over here and a lot of times over here, but yet again, snags can be an issue, so you gotta be careful. I gotta get that tension down. Yep, I got one told you that's a good spot right there these things have been biting like crazy a yellow perch nice yeah these guys you have to keep guys because apparently well not for me since I've got uh, a more advanced but if you've got the basic uh, license you have to keep them. I assume that's because they are a pest fish. Now, I can't swear to that, but I think that is the case. Now, let's see if we can do anything by these lily pads here. Now, this is pretty close, and you really, well, you really stand the risk of getting a snag whenever you're dealing with lily pads. But we'll try it anyway. We'll do it kind of slow. Because a lot of times I get black crappie right out of that lily patch of lily pads. Let's throw it over here this time. That way we'll have a little more distance to reel in. Huh. Looks like I threw it a little too hard. There we go. That's better. Yep, I got him. I'm not sure. I think it's crappie, though. I won't swear to. Nope, see another yellow perch. Yeah, these guys are nice, and they're worth about five points each so they're not too bad and they're a lot of fun I mean you literally can just get like one right after another 
I have fished for yellow perch many many times in real life and they are a lot of fun and you can catch them with lures or you can catch them without lures I mean, red worms work, well, work really well but I found that wax worms work the best whenever I used to fish for them I mean they will bite the heck out of those wax worms Well, I didn't realize how long I've been running this thing. My goodness. Oh, well, guys. Yeah, I think it's about time to end this episode. And I think next time I come back here, I'm going to show you a little bit more pan fishing. Just because it's fun. And hopefully I can get a better handle on the walleye fishing. And maybe I can finally pull in a northern pike so you can take a look at one of those guys. Anyway, guys, until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.